Hello all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it provides an overview of US payroll management with the assistance of Odoo 15. The user can manage employee's contract and salary attachment using Odoo 15 payroll module. The salary structure feature in the payroll module ensures entering the salary details of an employee with various rules quickly. So using the reporting feature, you can analyze the payroll structure of staffs in a form separately. For developing a new payroll structure, a user need to select the structures menu in the configuration tab and you can view all the created structures and you can click on the create icon to develop a new structure. So here I am already developed a new one. So here I developed a structure named new structure for an employee of the US country in this window. So for creating a salary structure, we need to consider the payslip data of an employee provided by a US company. Next, we can apply each head to the new salary structures window. So you can add the new structure inside the structure name field and then can choose the type. Then you can choose the country United States. Then you can define the wage payment frequency in the scheduled pay and payroll information records in your account inside the salary journal field. Then we can choose the payslip as a report and enter the monthly inside the schedule pay field and then you can pick up the miscellaneous operation in the salary journal. Later you can apply various rules for a new structure by clicking on this add a line option below the salary rules tab. So first we can add a basic salary rule for the new structure. Here you can add the rule name as basic salary. Then you can choose the category as basic. Then you can add the sequence number to arrange the calculation sequence as specified. Then the user can set a computation method for the basic salary rule. So you can choose the amount type as Python code and we can consume the basic salary as a wage included in the employee contract. So the Python code will be the result is equal to contract.wage. Then you can click on the save icon to develop a basic salary rule. Next you can apply the earnings to other salary rules in new structure. So we know that the earnings are divided into taxable earnings and non-taxable earnings. First we can enter the taxable earnings of employees as a rule in the salary structures window. In this new window, we can add the rule name as taxable earnings category as allowances and then you can enter the code as TE. Then select the new structure in the salary structure field. After that, we can set the amount type as fixed amount inside the computation section and select the save and close icon. Now we can uh, create a salary rule for non-taxable earnings. Here we can enter the rule name as non-taxable earnings then we can add the allowance as category then enter the code as NTE and new structure inside the salary structure field. Here we can add the sequence number then you can choose the amount type and enter the 62 in the fixed amount field. After saving the data, we can add the another rule for the gross pay. Here I have entered the gross as the rule name, category as gross, then I have entered the code. Then the gross pay is calculated by adding the basic and allowances. So in the US, the allowances are taxable earnings and non-taxable earnings. So we can add the Python code based on the gross calculation. After selecting the Python code as amount type and enter code as a result is equal to categories.basic plus categories.allowance. That means ALW. Then here the categories ALW means the sum of taxable earnings and non-taxable earnings. The shortcut for the allowances categories we created in the salary rule is ALW. Other salary rules for the US are the federal tax, state and local tax, pre-tax detection and post-tax detection. 
So all these came under the category of the deductions. The federal taxes are based on the social security and the Medicare tax. Now let's view each one separately. In the salary rule window, we can add the federal tax for social security in the rule name field and category as deduction. And inside the general section, you can condition based, you can set the condition based on the Python expression. So here the US federal tax for social security is 6.2% and then it is added inside the Python code. So after saving the details, we can develop a salary rule for federal tax for medical care. Then you can apply the category as deduction enter the code as FTF and here the uh, I have set the Python expression in condition based on the field and apply the rule in the Python condition field. So here the federal tax for Medicare is 1.45% provide, provided to employee in the US. So you need to mention it inside the Python code. Now we can apply the state and local taxes inside the rule name and category as deduction. The state and local tax varies as per the city of an employee. So here we have set the fixed amount in the amount type field and enter the value. Next we can enter the employees pre-tax and post-tax deduction salary rules in the new structure window. So here I added the pre-tax deduction in the rule name and deduction as the category. Later I have entered the PTD in the cold feed. Then I have added the PTD in the code field. Then choose a new structure inside the salary structure field. Then you can select the amount type as fixed below the computation section. Later you can add the fixed amount and the quantity. In the same way, you can also generate a salary rule for the post tax deduction. For that, you can enter the post tax deduction inside the rule name. Then you can add the uh, category code as PD and you can choose the new structure in the salary structure field. Then you can add the sequence number. Below the general tab, we can select the fixed amount in the amount type field and add the 87 in the fixed amount field. Now let's create a salary rule for the taxable gross in this window. So you can apply the category and the rule name as taxable gross. So the taxable gross is calculated by subtracting the gross amount from non-taxable earnings and pre-tax deduction. So as per these values, we can apply a Python code inside the computation section. So all these created salary rules for an employee in the US are viewable inside the salary rules tab in the new structures window. Now we can click on the save icon after applying all the salary rules. Now let's check how to apply the salary attachment for an employee. We can add the salary attachment for employees by selecting the salary attachment menu in the contract tab of Odoo payroll module. Here in this window, we can add the uh, employees details. So I have already added the attachment of John Steven. Mainly the uh, salary attachment types are three. They are uh, child support, assignment of salary, attachment of salary. So here after choosing the child support uh, as a type, a monthly account field is viewable. Here we can enter the amount in the um, monthly account field and click on the save icon. Here we can see that the process is running for the employee John Steven. So after a few months, you can also complete the process by clicking on this mark as completed icon. And in the case of a loan for an employee, you can change the type to attachment of salary or assignment of salary. 
then you can add the description as loan and choose the attachment of salary inside the type section then you can add the amount in the monthly amount and the total amount as specified so based on the total amount the estimated end date for a loan to the employee is viewable here Now let's check how to generate a payslip for employees with the ODO 50. We can constitute a payslip for John Steven by selecting the to pay menu inside the payslip tab. In the new payslip window, we can add the employee's name as John Steven. And then we can choose the structure inside the structure field. Then we can click on this compute sheet icon. So after selecting the computing, computation is based on each amount in the salary computation field. Then we can select the print icon in the payslip to pay window for accessing the payslip of John Steven. Hence, a payslip for uh, John Steven is created and the salary slip of John Steven is seen here. So, the order 15 payroll module enables the user to formulate payslip for employees in several countries. And we can quickly develop various salary rules and attachment for an individual using advanced features of order 15 payroll module. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.